Welcome, 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 Over the Top Podcast. It's your boy HD with the Over the Top Podcast crew. Hey guys, we doing a new show. We're not not a new show, but we're gonna switch it up a little bit tonight on the show. Uh, since we got a flood of ass toys, and thank you, keep sending them in, keep sending them in. Um, so we thought that we're gonna do a show of ass toys to try to try to clean out some of that, get all your questions answered. Um, that you may have, and and kind of and kind of lighten this lighten the show a little bit. So we're gonna that's what we're gonna do tonight. Uh, we're gonna do an Ask Toya show. Um, again, guys, you can find us on YouTube, find us on Facebook, and our private group and our Facebook page will be up soon, and we're moving very, very rapidly. Also, thank you for listening to us at WDJY ninety nine point one FM. We definitely appreciate the love and all the support. And that, 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 that talking about panel tonight. Toya, what's going on, sweetie? A word, I'm first. Because Giants That's playing, right. I'm first. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> good stuff. Playmaker G, what's the deal, man? Oh, man, I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you doing? No, I'm doing great. Doing great. I like your background there. Doing great. Look like the forest thing. I see you. Hey, it's I fall. You. It's fall. Getting ready for the fall. That's right. That's right. Q, what's the deal, man? What's going on with you? Yeah, uh, you said you do you like my background? I do like your background. I love I I I I, I definitely like I definitely like Jim Jim Jimmy Butler. I'm I'm I'm, I'm 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 not I'm not afraid of I'm not I'm not I'm not too much a fan of the Bob now. I'm not too much depressed. I'm not too much. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna let you know. This is the guy that beat everyone's favorites in the East last year. That's what y'all remember that. I mean, I mean, I mean, all because the man got his hair pressed, but he can't play ball, so it's never give him credit for that. All right, Jay, what's the deal, man? What's going on your way, brother? Doing good, man. Doing good. good Trying story. to pull the questions up on my look, pull the, pull the questions up on my phone. <laughs> good stuff. I hate good to download you know, that's the that's the one offshoot of having an Android you can't download a whole bunch of stuff. Yes, you can. I don't know okay. why you can't. Because I download I everything. Man, it, 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 it you cluttered your phone. Android. Android. Now, I got an Android. That's, you need a newer phone, sir. That's what that is. Well, my other phone died, so I do need to get a new. Phone. <laughs> okay, you you got a, you got a, you got a Galaxy. Nah, man, listen. When my phone died, my wife got me the you know the the low budget joint. But we about man, I'm actually about to go to T-Mobile, but I can't be I, I can't be advertising for people they don't pay us. So let me shut up. That's right. That's right. I'm that's about to go right. to local phone store. The local phone. <laughs> I said local phone store <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> Well, hey, that jump, that jump to the first ass Toya. That gets a party jump. Let's go, Toya. What we got on deck? Okay. Dear Toya, I'm 53 and very much single, single. I've slowed down on this ghetto ass dating scene because it seems every time I try to get to know someone and tell them, one, yes, I'm single, two, 53 with no kids that I know of, not trying to have any, but will date a woman with kids. Three, make good money and and give my own and get have my own everything. Four, I'm a homebody. I'm not in these streets. I work hard and when it's time to play, travel, play, I travel. I'm sorry. But for the most part, I'm at work and home. Why do women say a man like me is either a liar, lame, or gay? Do women nowadays need men to be sleeping with everything that moves and treating them bad to want to be with them? I'm just trying to understand black women today. Help me make, help it make sense, yo, as you say. Sign fed up with dating. Playmaker, I'm going to go with you with this one. You, you start, 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 then, uh, 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 let, 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 let's start the day off with you. Let, let's start this popping off with you. What's your thought? <laughs> uh, this, this is this a little bit interesting. So he, he's trying to figure out why black women put him in this like box. Is that is that really where we're getting at? Yeah. I think he said. I think he said women in general. I didn't see black. He said black women. He said. Well, I mean, I, I think if you if you buy into social media uh, and 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 a lot of things they put out there statistically, it makes you think that all black men have kids at the age of eighteen. And by him being fifty three, it just doesn't make sense. 
Or even at one time you hear people say, well, if he's not married by a certain time, you got to be gay. These yeah. are all just negative stereotypes that are that are out there. And the, the truth of the matter is that everybody just doesn't fit into those uh, stereotypes. Uh, you do have a large part, part of the population that may, but, you know, it, it doesn't. I'm just trying to figure out how is this an uh, issue for him in the dating in the dating scene. He's saying that every time he dates somebody and they find out all these things about him, they put him into that box. Like he's either lame or he's not telling the truth or he's gay because of these things. But I I guess the thing for me is why is that even an issue? You you get to know somebody. Once you get to know somebody, you you find out all the good and the bad and you move on. I I, I just don't see why it's, I, I I don't see it. I think too, because like you said, women women put he's what we call a uniform. He's what black women or women in general call a black uniform because he's never been married. He doesn't have kids. He he makes good money. He's he's a homebody. Now I would think that that me saying a black uniform means he's a good you know I'm trying to get to know you. But for some women, it's like nah, something wrong with. Me. Like yeah. what's wrong with him? So they obviously he's not having great dates because once they find out all about him, they just assume he's lying, he's gay, or he, you know, he's lame. I don't know why that would be lame. I feel like sisters need to do better. And he does say black women quit. He says, Why are black women? What's your thoughts on that, Q? Um, unfortunately, that is a stereotype that um um, I am. How this? I'll start with this. I am a avid, avid sayer and supporter of black. Most black women are the most homophobic group in the world. They call it, almost everything black men do. They call sassy. It's kind of the point where if a black man doesn't want a black woman, she'll normally still call him sassy or she'll just straight call him gay. But then they turn around and say they support they support uh, that community in the first place. Bunch of hypocrites, if you ask me. You but can't I say all say, black women. You can't do that because it's not all black women. It's not all, but the, ma- the, the loud majority, especially on social media, every every day there's a list of something men can't do, or if they do do it, it's called they're they're, they're sassy, spicy. Well, Fight you. Every every everything everything except except the hard word that that no one should say. Everything but it. But What's wrong with your I thoughts on that? Jeez, I ain't gonna finish. Let finish. I ain't, I'm sorry, bro. I thought I'm sorry, I thought you were finished. I mean, I mean, I mean, come on now, you. I, I was, bringing, you I was bringing it back. I was bringing it back. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. No, let me say when I first read it, when I saw fifty three with no kids, I even I would assume okay, I ain't gonna call you a liar because I don't know you, but I would say fifty three fifty three with no kids, I am looking at you sideways. Not it's not saying you're gay, but I'm like, why don't you have like you fifty three with no kids? Like were you were you holding off so marriage? Did, did, is it just not fun for you? I ain't some calling men, you gay. some men, some men, some and that's men, a problem. That's a problem. I know I have a lot of friends that are older who don't have kids and have never been married. And they say, women will say, well, why don't you have kids? Because I'm not married. Some men believe in not having kids until they're married. And if they don't, they just don't have kids. There and are that, black men out that's there. What like that. and, and more power to them. That's why I say, as far as that goes, I'm kind of on the side. But otherwise, you need to find you, you probably need to find a woman who was a who thinks the exact same way as you do, and if you don't find it in your local area, move move a city over, move a state over. If you ain't finding what you're looking for in your area, repopulate to the next to the next city. <laughs> all right, you RJ, what's your thoughts, man? I provide solutions over here. There you go. You do. You do, my friend. What are your thoughts, RJ? I'm going to go a different angle. It's going to be kind of weird. I heard Terrell Owen say something to Ocho Cinco on his podcast, which was pretty interesting. Terrell Owen said that when he was a kid, 
they tried to date African American females, and a lot of them really clowned. And he had a lot of emotional scars relative to dealing with that, those situations with African American females. However, when he got to college, Tennessee Chattanooga, he started to date black females. Body started to fill out, became more athletically bigger, stronger, and he became attractive to these same Caucasian females. And as he became attracted to them, he started to date them and he developed a preference. Some of us are struggling with stereotypes or aspects of things that people say, do, and speak against us. And I think it could be a premise that he was that that, that kid, and I hope I, I, I'm, I'm reaching, but some aspects of who he is as a person wasn't necessarily well-received. And so if you get a person that's not necessarily well-received by some people, then you could transition into a space where you don't have those long-lasting relationships and you don't develop that connection with people to be wrong everybody's shaking their head and looking at me like i'm crazy but to me i've heard a lot of women say if, if they feel like a man or a woman is not married by a certain age there is something that they perceive to be wrong do i presume it to be such nah i got a homeboy right now he just he bent on being a bachelor and he had a really bad experience at a young age with a young lady and that experience changed him. And he's never been committed since then. So what I would say is there is some trauma to me or some type of issue to me that's associated with aspects of his level of maybe not necessarily lack of commitment, but not. And that's a lot of inferences I'm making. I'm just trying to go some different ways and throw some thoughts in there and not make it spicy because I don't necessarily know that the man is, is gay or any of that other stuff. I just think there's there's something that may have taken place that may have given him a different perspective than a lot of other people. So good stuff, good stuff. So I, you know, I don't think I don't I don't think nothing wrong with the guy. I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't foresee him being gay gay fit with no kids. I mean, I know I know I know a couple of men who who who, did, who don't want to have kids and they want to live a single life. Um, and it may be commitment issues, or they haven't found the one to commit with. I know a, a lot of my homeboys they don't. They, I, they, I, they, I, yeah, they done got close to marriage a couple of times, and again, the lady, the, and the lady who they were dating, just didn't live up to their expectations, or they wasn't ready to, ready to, to cross their bridge. So I, that, that, so that bro, I don't have a problem with being fifty three single. Um, but, but by looking at you, you're single. You make your own money. You make, you make good money. You, you take care of your own stuff. You, you got everything, and you're a homebody. <laughs> So, so for most females, in my in, in my explanation, that sounds like boring. One is boring. I don't. I you you boring. You boring to me. I ain't no excitement. You ain't the bad boy. They want the bad boy. They want they want the bad boy. They want the want the boy out there with cover kids. Want the boy out there no drive the fast car. They want the bad boy. So so that's number one. Number two. <laughs> and this and this may be a stretch, but I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. We ain't gonna work out over the top. Um, he's not a project. Most women want projects. Most women want guys that don't have it together, so I can pay the bills. Most women want guys that may not that they 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 they, 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 they don't. They don't quite have it. I gotta go fix them and work on them and mold them and, and make and make and make and make this guy who I want. I gotta change him. I gotta change him. So since he's not a project, <laughs> a lot of women stay away from him because because they ain't got nothing to work on. Counterpoint. At fifty three. At yeah, fifty three. I was about to say. I was about to say. Hey, 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 we're all a work in progress. I am agreeing. I am agreeing. We're all a work in progress. At fifty three, there's women, some projects out. Oh, no, women, women, always, women always want to do something to fix their man. Cause they, I got to change in the mold of where I want to. But hell, you can't mold a man cause he make his own money, got his own house, he's secure. So he don't. So he he don't he he don't need you to come clean for him. He don't need you to pay no bills for him. He don't need you to do nothing in that house for him. He don't need you to wait. He don't need to raise his child from the first marriage. He and, and there is nothing. There is nothing she need to do but be her. So a lot of women is intimidated from that fact. I'm just saying. Counterpoint. 
I'll say this. If, if, and if you, sir, um, Mr. Help Me Please, if you find a woman in their 50s who has that mindset, that's a red flag. Hey, 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 young fella. Hey, hey young fella. Hey, young fella. Hey, 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 young fella. He just said. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 Quinn, hey, Quinn, we don't raise you, but you, but you're 26. There's a lot of 50 year old men. There's a lot don't, of 60 don't add year old too much women. There's a lot of 60 year old women that, 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 that look for projects to take care of a man. And, and he, they he's are, not, he, he don't have that. But can I put they my are point? single for a reason. Oh, no, because he want to be single. There's a lot of no, guys. No, the women, the women, the women. He's it's, a, it's, a, it's an effective term, though. Like, word is born is an effective term. In, in culture where some people are what they call rescuers. So right. they like to they like to help people. So they be saying, saying don't it. save them. They don't wanna be saved. <laughs> don't let me say. I call you what what you got a last but no, here's, no, here's, here's what I said. There's a lot of broken black women and a lot of broken black men in this world. And Ron said it, you know, a lot of men don't want to get married because they've been hurt so bad before they don't trust. A lot of women don't trust a lot of women, like you said, have these healing spirits and want to save everybody. The question that's always asked to me a lot lately is that if you find a man like this, who has his own everything, who has this, who has that, a lot of women will say, you know, just say, well, what do you bring to the table? And nowadays, women say, well, I bring the table and the chairs. No, you don't. No. You don't. He got a table, chair, bed. <laughs> that part. <laughs> And so that that would be the reason why that would that would be the reason why you um a lot of women stay away from him because he has his own everything. That's so the question right. should be is what do I bring to the table? I have my own everything, I pay my own bills. So as a partner, there's we're we're gonna build more, but I'm bringing that I'm a help me, that I'm bringing peace, I'm bringing that comp. That's what I'm bringing to a table like that. But a lot of women don't want to bring stuff to a table like that. Like you said, they might see him as boring. Doesn't necessarily mean that he's boring. He said he likes to travel. He works hard. He plays hard. But he's a homebody. There's nothing wrong with being a homebody. Like if I knew this man, this is the man. Like for real. Like I'm a homebody. I like to be home. He doesn't have kids. I have kids. He said he would date a woman with kids. That's a plus right there. Um, I just think you need to look at a different type of woman. That's right. And I and, agree with that. and and stay away from the red flags. That red part. flag. Hey man, keep dating and keep looking, man. But good as told you. Good as told you. Hey, we got another one and another one. What's that told you? That, that this one you? is this one is a little long, so y'all bear with me. This this one is a little long. Is this the long one? No, this isn't long. Okay, dear Toya, I'm 42 year old man, professional, educated. So I want to tell y'all this: I picked all men because you I know see. the fellas, because <laughs> y'all are the fellas. So I picked all men tonight, um, and I have a lot of men asking me questions. So I'm 42 years old, professional, educated, and I make really good money. I'm dating an older woman; she's educated and makes good money as well. We match in every way. She is my best friend, and I love her. Although she is older, she does have late in life children, two beautiful girls, age nine and 10. She is a woodwork. Her husband lost his battle with cancer when her nine-year-old was two. I love these girls to life, as you would say. I want to marry this woman, but our only, our one problem is my mom. I am an only child of a single mom and she raised me to be a good man. But I've seen the ugly side of my mama over the last few years we've dated. Now, my lady is nowhere near my mother's age, but because she is older, my mother has a problem with that. Because she has kids and I can't and can't have any more, my mother has a problem with that. But in my eyes, these girls are my girls and that's how I treat them. Honestly, I didn't want to have kids, but I love my girls. If I say, mom, I'm coming over with the girls, she will say things to keep me away. I'm going to marry this woman. What can I do to keep my mother in our lives? Because at this point, 
I don't know what to do. Help me, please. Q. Ah, oh, okay. So, <laughs> at 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 my young age of twenty five, yeah, I am right. open. I am open to hearing opinions from a mom about the women I date. At at my future age of forty two, if I am still single and trying to find somebody, and I am dating, um, mom is, is hey wait hey pops is, is is mom is mom near you right now? I mean, say it with your chance. He gonna listen to it. Say it with your chest. You a grown man? At forty-two, when it comes to dating opinions, you're kind of low on the list. When it for opinions, I want to hear from because Say it's forty-two. Yeah, it's forty-two. It's forty-two. <laughs> Hopefully by forty two you are already married, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that in a in a perfect world, I'm already married, got got children of my own already at forty two. If I'm single at forty two, yeah, there's some people's opinions I'm going to first. Hers might not be there, or if I'm going for opinions at all, hers might not be there. Okay, um, RJ. <laughs> Man, you know, <sighs> wow. Dating and then transitioning towards marriage is a real serious commitment. And in that commitment, you have to realize that you forsake your former family for the family that you're trying to create with this woman. And so in, in a true functional fashion, this man is doing the right thing. Your mother is not going to always effectively be on board with your decisions, but you have to stand on what it is that you believe because you live this life. Her, her, her concern, is, seems like to me, is distinctly that she's not going to have any biological grandchildren, and that probably bothers her. Did y'all lose me for a long time? No. No. Okay. Okay, so um, with that being said, I think he should proceed forward. Um, I think he's found somebody that he feels like is suitable for him. He's invested in those children's lives. Um, they've developed a level of consistency. If their unit works together well, hey man, you found your soulmate. Don't let somebody make you miss what's a blessing for you based upon how they feel. Playmaker. You know, uh, I realize this is a different day and age. But uh, the way that I was brought up is at, at some point in your life, you become a man. And as a man, you make your own decisions. You you can solicit input, but, you know, at the end of the day, you got to make your best choices for what which, which you want to do with your life. Now, if, if he want to live with his mama the rest of his life, then, you know, he can choose his mama. But if he want to be with this woman and have this family with this woman, he needs to have a conversation with his mom. Like, mom, I respect your opinion. I love you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to still love you after I get married, after I have these, uh, take over this stepfather role. And if you want to be uh, a part of that, I welcome you to it. If you don't want to be a part of that, I'm still going to be your son. I'm still going to love you but I've got to do what's best for me. And he, I, I, I think he may be in this position because he hasn't stepped up to his mom earlier. You know, I think sometimes moms want to hold on to their kids and not let go. And sometimes you got to be like, hey, you know, you can take the training wheels off. I'm, I'm a grown man. And I think that's really what he has to kind of deal with first is, you know, he's he's a grown man. Uh Opinions are nice. You take them for for what they are, and you you do what's best for you. Good stuff. So so I, and, and I know I I'm, I'm considered a mama's boy. I always have been. I always will be. And I and and, and I and I can't speak for everybody in the panel, but I, but I, I I can definitely speak for two of us. And I know both of us are, are certified USDA grade mothers boys. So with that, with that being said, um, 
I think I think it might, I, I think my the sentiments are pretty much the same. After a certain at a certain time, you 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 as 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 a man, you 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 got to choose your your path, and 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 and, and, and allow and allow your mother to you know you know just have a conversation. Not just a conversation, but because I don't, I think it's deeper than a conversation. Because what it sounds like at forty two, the, the guy say forty two. Yeah, and, 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 and at forty two, um, and he's still looking for, and, he, and it sounds like Mama make a lot of decisions and make life comfortable for him, and um, he don't want to, he don't want to mess up that, he don't want to mess up that comfortable apricot or that comfortable situation. But he gonna have to. I mean, oh, okay, he can't, he, he can't he gonna live with his mama rest of his life. He gonna want some, he wants some companionship. This man live with his mama. Well, he can want some companionship. He can want some companionship. He can want some companionship. And his, and his, mom, and his mama can't offer him companionship that he, he may want now. And if we do, that's a whole other cover. That's a whole other show, if that's the case. <laughs> show is that the case. Um, but you know what? Choose your heart. Go pray about it. Go for it. Mama, get on board. The one thing about mama, she always love her, love, love her, baby. But she may be mad at you for a while, but she'll get on board. That that that's my take. First of all, I I don't know why y'all think this man lived with his mama at forty two. <laughs> he he because, probably does not. But well, no, not live with here's, them. here's the problem. A lot of single mothers with with oh, with, he's he's an only child. She he is her only child. So this is probably the only man that's been in her life. Since this child was born, and so a lot of certain types of mothers hold on tight. I get that she might be upset because the woman can't have any more kids, and he said that she's not as old as his mother, but she's a few years older than him. So, um, she's not that old. It's just you know, mothers are mothers are hard. You try, especially with their sons. So you try to find every little thing, but. Like everybody else said, you're going to have to make your feet heavy. I'm saying, this is what it is. These are my kids. We don't say step. These are his kids. He said, these are his kids. She's a widower. This The nine-year-old has doesn't know her father at all. Why? Because he died when she was two. So she probably has no memory. This is the only man that she's probably had in her life over the last few years. Because they said they, he said they've been together for, for years. So it's time to make your feet heavy. Tell your mama to pull the bridges up and deal with it. And go well, ahead. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mama going to accept that. Accept that too easy. But they need to well, have a conversation. Matter. All three of them need to have a conversation. You a grown man. She going to have to deal with it. And she going to have to love on these babies as they were her grandbabies. There's nothing no, wrong. No, she don't. She don't have to do that neither now. She don't <laughs> have to. <laughs> but if she wants to be in her child, in her son's life, let me tell you something. My grandparents became the best of friends. And you, like I said, I tell everybody, you would never know we were a blended family. My grandmother's was my ride or die. Correct. My grandmother loved me like I was her biological grandchild. And 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 it's okay. Just like my mother loves Indian Azure and like their hoods. That to them, that's the only grandmother that they have a lot. Some women are able to do that. Some women aren't. But if you if she can't do it, then she got to go about her business. You can't block your blessings because your mama say so. I do it now. There, I, I agree with that. But I think I think they need to bring. I think all three of them need to sit down and have a conversation. And, and, they and, probably and, if, they, and, and, if, and if they don't, and, and 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 if they don't, and if they don't ever <laughs> like each other, at least be in agreement that you will leave my house alone. I leave your house alone. Now, yeah, let me, no, not that gonna, that gonna create a problem. I, I don't agree. All three need to sit down. The no. man needs to handle his business with That's his mom, right. and he, he, he the, the, uh, the, the, the future wife doesn't need to try to help the man establish rules and regulations. No, 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 no. I guess, I guess that, that that's not where I'm coming from. The re and 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 and, and again, I mean, let me explain the reason I said all need three, three, three sit down. Not that, 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 not, that, not that he need help talking to his mother about his relationship. No, that's not what I'm saying. But if y'all go, but if, but if, but if, but if y'all gonna work, work work together in this in the situation where you got mama, a child, and and husband or spouse, it could be a lot of conversations or in the windows coming from the back to back to all three of them. 
because 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 because, because what you don't want to happen is mom mom I'm here here go mama throwing slide with Morris about the wife then the wife get mad throwing slide with Morris about the mama then the children it becomes a mess. What I'm saying is when the reason I said they all need these two three sit down so that, hey we may not get along but we got to make, make this work for the kids our mom this is what I'm gonna do. Now you're gonna be a part of a yeah or not gonna be a part of because if you don't I'm telling you it can become a mess. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what I know. It can become a mess. It's, it's gonna come to a head at some point in time, anyway, though. Hmm? Yeah. Eventually, it's it'll like Ron said, it'll come to a head. But the the beginning part is you sit down and say, "Look, this is what it is. This is how it's gonna be, and that's it." If you don't like it, then you know we'll deal with you how we deal with you. That I don't part. think Quinn will ever tell his mama, "Look, at this is what I'm gonna do. This is how it's gonna be." I don't care if Quinn's sixty five years old, his mama eighty. That ain't gonna. That conversation ain't gonna go down like that. Trust hey, me, I'm telling you. Some conversations hey, too. Some ain't go down like that. Hey, some conversations need to go down like that. That one ain't gonna go hey, down man. like that. <laughs> Y'all ever seen Animal House? Y'all ever seen Animal House? When Dad yeah. going, uh, John Bellucci, he played me, man. What am I right now? And he put that food in his mouth. He busts his cheeks together. And he spit the zit. It's gonna come to a head. You are gonna have to bust the bone. And, right, and all you, you honestly, uh -huh, you you can you can either facilitate it and manage it, like my wife and my like facilitate and manage. True story. Correct. That's my point. My, my wife, my wife and my my mother then had it out, and I had to really kind of try to referee. That's right. Now it worked to a, it worked to a certain degree, but Ooh, it wait. didn't. Right. But I realized one of the two things that I realized, and that's the one thing that's rough about like sisters. I hate to say it. Y'all can't shit. A lot of the same spaces at the same time, consistently, consistently, without having some type of impact on one another. Right. And and if y'all in the space for a long, a prolonged period of time, it's gonna be an issue. And most times with people, in terms of human beings, you're either gonna come together or pull apart. Like most of us have had a college roommate at some point in time, and if we're the best of friends or we don't like them jokers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So when we start transitioning into like living with and being around people, and I and I hate to say this, man, and, and I'm just want to put this into the ether for the universe. People need to stop being so ding dang critical, man. Let people live. She need to let him live. He need to figure it out on his own. And if he if he succeeds, praise him. If he fails, love him up. It's still your son. And and. You can, you got the right to tell him that you didn't like what he did, but at the same time, love him. Because if right. he goes bad, he's going to need you. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Tell your last word on this one. We can move to the next one. Make your feet heavy. Tell your mama to kick rocks. <laughs> hey, sometimes, bro, sometimes. I'm just saying, just have the conversation <laughs> with your mom. I had a conversation because yes. the guy is so faster. <laughs> And women do hold grudges just like everybody else do. Five, six, you know, years down the road. But you know what, though, women head again. But women see stuff that men don't neither. So that's that's a that's another that's a, that's another side of that coin. Like right. we can't see everything. Females look at other females and they understand the game. We don't understand right. it. We just be like, I love. I mean, love. <laughs> I mean, love. Go ahead, Toy, and then that's what. Dear Toya, first let me say I love OTTP. Keep up the good work. I think you should add some merchandise. A brother would love to a shirt or a sweatshirt. I'm 48 years old and married for 20 years. We've been together since high school, though. Our oldest child is 31. She was born when we were 17. We had an amazing village to help us achieve our all of our goals. We both went away to college while our parents shared responsibility of our daughter. My wife went to medical school and I have the master's. We work hard and we have had ups and downs like any married couple. We have two more kids, 24 and 21. Now that we have no kids in the house, my wife suggested we try an open relationship. She says, I'm the only man she's ever been with and she's the only woman I've ever been with. She doesn't want what we have to end. She just wants to know what it would be like to be with another man or woman. 
Well, now, then. this has thrown me off so much since we've had this conversation. I've thought about being with other women over the years, but in the end, no one can make me cheat on my wife. But she has talked a lot about it and has made up her mind. I don't want my wife to be with any other man or woman, not even with me. Yes, that has been suggested too. Is this something women in their 40s do on a normal after the kids are gone? Has she been this way all the time and just didn't show her freak side? We have a very healthy sex life. Am I not enough anymore for her? I don't want to lose my wife to foolishness or be out here in these ghetto streets looking for a new ass after years of being with one person. What's the crew's thoughts? Signed, a desperate husband. <laughs> RJ, you on deck, buddy. <laughs> looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> No, nah, for real, on a serious note, man, that, hey, man, that would really throw me for a loop. Um, and that would kind of be probably, like, devastating to hear based upon the circumstances that they've been under. They've been with each other um, since they were kids. You know, one of the things that I really realized, though, and um, and this came from a sermon that Bishop Jakes had. He said, man, a lot of times when you have a lot of partners that you can remember, you start thinking about where well, I would love to have so and so legs on this on my wife, and I would love to have so and so's. Well, I would love to have so and so skin. Or you start making comparisons, and the fact that he doesn't have to make those comparisons, she doesn't have to make those comparisons. To me, that's a beautiful thing. In all true honesty, when I was seventeen, I would have been good. I don't think I would have had a wondering eye. The fact that my little first love broke my little heart. It's a totally different story, but I think with with the fact that they're together this long and they've been able to build stuff together, to me, that's more important than a whimsical sexual fantasy that you want to satisfy at this time in your life. It just doesn't make sense. If it's gonna if it's gonna crack the foundation of what your relationship is, it's not worth it. To me, it's not worth it. But it's 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 only up to her. You're in a relationship with the person, so I don't know. I don't know how you convince her, but I don't think it's. Q. Divorce her. <laughs> everyone else here. Everyone else here. There is there. I'm not gonna say pastor primes, but I'm not. Divorce. Look. <laughs> You gonna feed her to the lions? Boy, you hard, boy. You hard on them. Hard on them. Hard on them. Hard on them. Okay, Abbas. I am on TikTok a lot. My TikTok consists of a lot of am I the am I the asshole questions. Questions like this that pertain to this. Nine times out of ten, this doesn't work out. The wife was already cheating in the first place. Or they open a relationship, the husband gets more than the wife does because the wife was probably looking at one particular person. The husband says, well, I'm going to go have two, three, four. And the wife's like, well, do you not love me anymore? God, I thought I, I went. And then the wife was a closer and the husband's like, well, uh, you would you done introduced me to this life now and I want to keep, now I want to keep it. And now you had a whole nother issue. I can cut, I, we can cut all, that. that's how these stories end. We can cut all that out right now. Get her, okay. get her out of here. The children are already out the house. She wants to be a freak on her own. Let her be a freak under someone else's roof with, with someone else's business and someone else's bed where you don't have to take care of her anymore. Okay. In fact, you ready? You got to know? You done? No. Tell me why you mad, son. I'm not. <laughs> Play uh, later. That's it. Playmaker. Um, so my first thing is, I think in the uh, his letter, he said that their sex life was great. So that could just be his opinion, not hers. So I think that's what I would start. Is, is, uh, you know, he may have been, been doing a lot of vanilla for the last 30, 40 years, and he may need to kind of change things up. 
uh, not with bringing, introducing other people, but just kind of, you know, uh, getting out of the missionary. And I think maybe uh, he may want to, before he goes to that level, you know, may maybe speak with a, 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 a sex therapist if he can't have that conversation with his wife, just to kind of figure out, you know, if it's really a great sex life, then why is she looking for other things? I think that it's been, uh, she's probably looking for a little bit, something different, that something different does not have to be another person. It just could be s some different experiences uh, that they may need to explore. So I, I would I would do that before uh, looking at a uh, bringing in a third party. Interesting. Well, first of all, let, allow me to say thank you, sir, uh, for listening, for tuning in. Uh, we will hope to have some merchandise out soon. We'll definitely keep you abreast <laughs> when it comes out. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, I heard I heard a guy you say happy wife, happy life. She ain't happy. She is. She's gonna make her happy. She wanna bring somebody else in, male or female. Happy wife, happy life. I don't know. Nah. I mean, but that, that was that was a happy. You keep the wife happy, everybody happy. Uh, a lot, a lot of things going on here, man. You know, you know. I, I, I if your sex life is good or bad, it sounds like it sounds like she's bored. Sounds like she's bored. Sounds like she feel like she's stuck. She done. She done. You guys done, you guys done had the family. You don't raise, you don't raise the kids. You don't work hard for like, so now it seemed like, you know, now she feel like, you know, part two of my life, the things I miss, I always may have wanted to try, but now I'm, 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 I'm going to bring, bring it up and see, and see, and, and, and do that, and, and do and, and just see how far I can get with it. Um, I don't know. I do understand his concerns. Um, you know, he don't want to cheat on his wife. Um, and that's a conversation they're going to have to have. Um, I think a conversation that they gotta sit down and, and really and, and really talk talk about this thing. Um and really and really and really do a really do a deep dive with something that they will wanna do or may want to do or don't want or don't want to do. And like I said, I'm not I'm not a I'm not I mean I'm a I'm a companion of therapy when it works. In this situation, I think both of them would be honest with, with with the therapist. I always say therapy is good as long as you're honest with honest with the therapist. Um, but I think this one you may need to go to a sex therapist or a counselor to say, hey, you know, what are what are what are the ramifications afterwards? Cause I'll be, I mean, because I always go back to that Kevin Hart, you know, yeah, it's all really, really good. Until you see Joe really, 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 really putting that work in and your wife over there enjoying it. And you looking like, whoa, she didn't make that noise with me. <laughs> so now, so now, so now, so now, so now we stop. <laughs> so now we stop. Or or you do it, and then this one become addicted. So now, so now we cheat. So now, because of my, because of my because of curiosity, um, it could mess up the whole the whole the whole years of marriage. So uh, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying do do it. But I would say really have the in depth conversations. If you are going to do it, set boundaries, say set, set responsibility, and kind of and kind of dictate. Because one thing about sexual acts. There are so their souls and their so souls were emotional tied to that is you don't know how they how you're gonna react on the other side of that. So kind of move cautiously, as I would say. So that's so that's my take. What's your you got the last thought on this one, Tori? What's your thoughts? I I guess I get it. Like they've never been with anybody else. So I get that she might want to be in this place right now at this part of life and see what it's like. I don't think it's a good idea because it's, it's ghetto out here. Ain't, ain't nothing out here in these streets. I'm telling all married people with good marriages, you better keep your, your husband because somebody gonna come swipe him up and take him. And he's a good man. He's a good father. He's a good husband. It's, it's probably a lot of women out there already looking at him. Um, And, and for her too, it's men, but it's not the quality of man, I don't think it's a good idea um, to say, unless she's already found somebody like Quinn said, I don't think she has. I think they have a good relationship where she came to him first and they had a conversation about it. But I'm with everybody else. Spice it up. You know, be in the grocery store. Put a wig on. Be somebody can else. That's I, what can I, I say something, do. though? Could I say something? What? Now, this, is, this is old Buffalo coming out for a second. Oh, God. For this. 
Man, she chasing the O. She chasing the O, and she might not be getting the O via intercourse. But this, that's when you have to figure it out. But, like but, 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 but there's ways. My thing is, hold up. My thing is, if she chasing it, she if she if she if he the first, he's the only person she ever been with, and she ever never got one. She don't know how to chase. She don't know what the fuck. That part. She no, don't, it, it, she don't it, know. No, y'all not. No, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm one of the things that happens. Wait. I didn't Wait, take first things, in school. One one of the things that happens though is that people compare notes when they at work. And they yeah. talk and they gossip. So you <laughs> gotta, hey, listen, man. I'm telling, hey, listen. My first situation ended as a result of some aspects of things that happened when people started talking, and she started listening to them, and then then it went into, and then all of a sudden stuff just went haywire. Which I ain't, I ain't beefing. I'm glad it did. I think. However, what I'm saying to y'all right now, to me, just stepping into that man's mind and what he wrote, she's chasing an oak. All right, so if she, she if that's the case, so here's the problem. One in every, well, not one, but you have 10 women. Six out of 10 women have never experienced the O. These, those are the statistics. I did a whole paper on it when I wanted to be a sex therapist. I uh, did my internship with a sex therapist. So this is the problem. The reason why, and you can say this is the only man she's ever been with in her life. Most women who don't masturbate don't know how to achieve their orgasm. They just expect a man to do it for them. So these are the right. conversations that you might need to be having with, with your wife saying, okay, so what is the problem with our sex life? Though that's the first conversation you need to have that makes you want to go experience something with somebody else. Am I not satisfying you completely? Have you never been satisfied before over the last, you know, 40 odd years since we've been having sex? These are the questions that you want to ask. And then go from there and say, okay, well, what do we need to do? so that we can experience a certain level of sexual enjoyment. I know Especially a lot of people are prudes in here. But... Has, she, has, she been, has she been faking it, though? And it doesn't well, no, it. no, it doesn't. It just, it just well, that some women I'm just, just, saying, I'm just throwing it out there into the universe. I'm putting no, that into the universe. Probably, no, and, and the thing is, <laughs> this, in this paper, is that women enjoy it but they've never gotten to that climax of climax experience. Like they ain't never blessed it until they cry. They ain't never cry. Or you ain't, ain't never cry. That part, that part. And then, and, but that, when you masturbate, that is what helps you because you know, you learn your body as a woman of where you, where a man needs to go to achieve that climax or extra experience that you have. And so I think I think it's a man's job. I think it's a man's job to learn his next five. That's my opinion. But but that's a more older story. We're looking at it as deter her them for doing it. I don't think we should deter. I think they need they need to talk about it. They need to do their research. They need they need to deal with it. And if it's something that they both agree on, do do you? I don't know. That can open up a whole other other can of worms. That opens up a can of worms. You can't bring other people into your relationship. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of relationships. I'm going to tell you all these polyamorous polyamorous relationships out here. Eventually, somebody gets jealous, especially on a woman's side, because a woman's ego is worse than a man's ego. We ain't well, already talked about that. that. True, Toya, but so, I can't. We, we we can't say you don't do that. I mean, that's your opinion. If you want I'm to, I'm just do saying. It. It, but I mean, it, that it, happens. It, it, I have mean, the conversation first. Correct. Correct. Now, definitely have, be the have conversation a conversation first. And know what you're getting yourself into. Because if you do get yourself into it, it is, a, it is a slippery slope. Now, if you don't get yourself in the wrong. It thing, is. But, all right, we got one. We got. We got time for one more, Toya. We got one more, and this one is easy. Oh wait, I put two in there. Yeah, you got two more. We got, but well, we I think we have. But uh, okay, two. we'll do this last one. This one is. Yeah, do the uh-huh. last one with with the sports. That'll be easy. With with the what with the sports? Okay, dear Toya, my wife and I love enjoy the show. Thanks for putting out great content. I have enjoyed the live sports show on Thursdays as well. Y'all are funny. Our question is. If you guys were to put a basketball team together, 
oh. we know who won't be on somebody's team. <laughs> <It's your laughs> <starting> five feet. <laughs> you can use any any five players in basketball history in their prime. Sign the job. Um, Toya, you, 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 you on deck. Oh, God. So, we've had a lot of conversations about this. Um, I'm going to put Magic as one. But then my, I might go, see, I'm a rough player. So, I'm I'm with rough points like Mason, Oakley, and, and Ewing. I'm going to use Bird. Uh, Kareem. I like all the big guys. Oh, goodness. I might need a tiny guard, so I'll go with Iverson. Because that's four, right? Yeah, that's four. So you, said, you said Magic, Iverson, Kareem. And I'm going to do Anthony Mason because I need a, a dirty bird. Anthony Mason. Yeah, I need All a dirty right, guy. Yeah. I need a dirty guy that yeah, fight. That's, a, that's, a, that's <laughs> an interesting squad. Playmaker. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Steph, Curry, uh, Jordan, um, Kobe, uh, Tim Duncan, and Elijah Wan. Uh -huh. Steph at point, Kobe at Jordan at two, Kobe at three. Who, who you got? Huh? And Elijah Duncan, I agree with Elijah one, but that Duncan boy, okay. that's okay. hard. Okay. Well, I'm going with Tibby too, but go ahead, Q. All right. So we all are we all on the same page. Okay. Um, <laughs> give me Curry at the one, but he's not my main ball handler. Kobe at the two, LeBron at my three, and he's my main ball handler. Duncan at my four, and then in the middle, give me Shaq. Okay. 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 Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, RJ. Um, we may have time. I'm gonna that. choose Will as my center. Um, I think Tim Duncan is the best power forward of all time, but um, no, see where different. Uh, C Web is not in that class. But to but to be different, um I don't know. I'm gonna go down to my three my, my my one and my my two first. I'm gonna say my uh magic and Michael. And then um my three probably would be either Bird or LeBron. And then power forward. And 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 you know who I'm gonna say that people don't give a lot of credit to, but he was a small man but played big. I'm gonna say Charles Barkley. I'm gonna say Chuck Wagon. That's the, that, I'm gonna say Chuck Wagon. I mean to be different. Tim Duncan is the best, and the best line I ever heard in, in basketball was with uh, Charles Barkley said, "Not the best." Charles Barkley, he, he is. He is. Wow. He, he never. I think he only had one losing season. But you know what? You know what? Chuck, Chuck, Charles Barkley said, he said, I seen the future. And it ain't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so um uh, because I need ball handlers. Um I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go magic at the point. Uh I'm gonna go Michael at the two. I'm gonna go. Kevin Garnett at the three. The three. I'm gonna go Tim Duggan at the four. <laughs> and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Diesel in the paint. I'm gonna go Diesel in the paint. Yo, your, your team has a field goal percentage of ten. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But well, we can win. We can win some games, though, buddy. <laughs> we may not have to play well. KG, KG did play some through at times, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't consistent. Really. I know. Oh, that, 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 we... so, so, so that's so that's so that's so no that's what I'm going No So now paper. we have six minutes. Um. Mm, mm. 
Do you, no, that's you your me? last thought. Paul, you give me, give me, give us your last uh, thought. Oh, I don't have no last thoughts tonight. Uh, wait, wait. I can pass it along. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tim Duncan's whack. You don't know okay. why I think Tim Duncan is whack? Because when we were in college and we was playing basketball, I'm only six foot, and how tall is he? He slam dunked, and his balls went all the way across my head, and then he talked junk. I'm a girl, sir. It doesn't matter if you slam Were you on the floor? Our team, our team still won that part. Were you but on the floor? You, but, but were you on the floor? <laughs> oh, Did so you crazy. play? I played, and my team well, still won. Hey, I had hey. Randolph children and all them other way boys playing on my side. So that part. He lost. It, it sounded like you were just and in the way. Then, I don't like Tim Duncan. <laughs> it sounded like you were just in the way. Quite, uh, duck. Duck. <laughs> huh? I ducked, but he's still so tall. Last words. He he not on the screen, huh? Hey? He probably okay. had to step away. Uh, he might, uh, run, uh, go Q, Q, your last words. Okay, okay. My my last words. Um, since I've been down here in the, in the countryside, going <laughs> get, get, hiring my education, um. <laughs> People, a lot of people have told me that they mix a thing called a honey pack with their alcohol. What? Does anyone even know what a honey pack is? Honey, a no. pack of honey. It's a yeah. what? It's what? It's what? That's an erection pill. That's a, you oh, take that God. Honey. How do you know what that is, G? Oh, <laughs> God. My ear to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, for some for some reason they mix that with the alcohol, and that uh -huh. is the, and, and that is the. It's got, I haven't heard that at all like until I came down here. So a depressant and a stimulant because that's what it is. That yeah, right. and they mix that with the alcohol. Vodka Red Bull, same thing. How do you know that, G? I keep my ear to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, if that's the reason why some why some of these kids is out here wilding out like like I've been seeing them these past few these past few weeks, I don't want it. <laughs> okay, play make your last words. Uh, so my my last uh, word is uh, uh, be e be uh, intentional uh, when when you're doing stuff. Uh, uh, just be make sure that your intent is is right and, and do it the right way. Good stuff, good stuff. How much time? Okay, we got a couple of minutes left. Well, like always, guys, man, your man, your dance move. Hey, I ain't get to say my. Ronnie I ain't get, get to say. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, we left, left Ron out. Run out. We left Ron out. I'm sorry, bro. We left Ron out. I do apologize. We have I want us to. I want really like to really slow down and think about this for a second. You know, I was talking to somebody recently and, and having a conversation about, you know, we really think a lot about IQ, but we don't think a lot about EQ. Hmm. EQ is emotional intelligence, quotient. And we need to understand that we need to be emotionally mature at times when we're having um, discussions or debates with loved ones. If we can remove the emotion from it, then we can be more mindful of where we are to support a better communication and a level of understanding. Just because you think you're right don't mean you're right. And people will down a hill to be right. And you know, one of the things that I found about um, working in conjunction with um, people of different races, it's more important to get it right than think I'm right. And one of the things that I found about working with different races is their solution based. They don't identify nor do they point fingers. They figure out the problem. So us as African Americans and the show that's tailored towards African Americans and all all populists, let's be a little bit more emotionally intelligent. Let's be a little bit more mindful of what we say and how we say it. Let's manage and handle each other a little bit better. Thank you. Good stuff, Ron. I do apologize for skipping you. I know they don't, don't, don't charge you to charge it to my heart, not 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 to my head. We definitely I don't charge it to my head, not to my heart. I yeah, they're confused too. Let me get off this thing. Hey guys, may your next move be the game changer. Peace. <laughs>